Welcome to another EUP1501 tutorial session. In this tutorial session, I'll explain how your final mark is calculated. For the year 2022, your assignment weighting is as stated on this uh, sort of like table. Assignment 1 uh, weighs 10 percent towards your final your class mark remember you've got your class mark in your portfolio so other modules have a class mark and an exam so in this case your class mark actually your, your class mark actually weighs more than your portfolio but remember you can't even if you have a eight from your class mark right you can't pass the module unless you get a minimum of 40 for your portfolio okay so let me show you how your class mark is calculated first then we're gonna use the class mark uh, and and combine it with your portfolio mark to get your final mark okay so for let's say in assignment one you got 80 out of 100 so what they're gonna do they're gonna take that 80 for assignment one uh, let me change the color this is your 80 okay over 100 uh, okay so this is basically 0 0.8 if you good with maths so instead of writing 80 like this I'm the 0 0.8 like this I'm just gonna write 0 0.8 so I'm gonna delete this one let's say you got 80 so if you got 80 over 100 marks then yeah so we're gonna we're just gonna write 0 0.8 instead of uh, writing that whole thing in. okay so for assignment one let's say you got 80 then this is 0 comma 80 okay so what they're gonna do like when they're adding all of them they're gonna multiply this with this and then multiply this with whatever you got for assignment two. Let's say for 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 the sake of this tutorial, you got hundred percent for all your MyLab assignments because it's it's the easiest uh, assignments that you can actually uh, do in this module. So that will be uh, 100, 100 over hundred. Okay. 100 over 100 is 100 divided by 100 that is 1 so instead of writing that I'm gonna write 1 okay so for every my lab assignment we're gonna write 1 so assignment number 2 is your my lab assignment then you're gonna write 1 uh, for this one assignment number 4 1 assignment number 5 1 assignment number 7 1 Let's say you got zero maybe for assignment you did not submit assignment uh, three uh, then you're gonna have zero here you did not submit assignment six you're gonna have zero here so to get your final mark you're just gonna multiply this 10 with this one 15 with this one you, you're just multiplying okay so this is what you're gonna get you're gonna get uh, let me use my calculator uh, then you're gonna get 10 times 0 0.8 which is obviously 8 okay uh, so you're gonna multiply these two okay I'm just gonna write the answers here so forgive me for being so messy okay so uh so we're gonna write the answer for 10 times 0 0.8 we're gonna write it here so here you're gonna have uh, the answer is 8 here 15 times 1 that's 15 15 uh, 20 times 0 that is 0 15 times 1 you have 15 uh, 15 times 1 you have 15 uh, 10 times uh, 10 times 0 you have uh, 0 and uh, 15 times 1 you got 15 okay so in total you got uh, this uh, 30 30 and then make 6 is then you have 68 that's your total okay 
so this is your class mark this this can be, you can get this from i think it's if you use the straightest straightest website okay or you go to your my unisa then you go to admin then you go to submit assignment you'll get you'll get a link to that straightest website then you click on on it and then you log in your details then you can find this information it should be calculated for you so if you submitted all your mylab assignments and your results haven't been captured yet please do not panic it, it normally takes time for for them to actually capture that so okay let's continue with this so yeah from these marks this these are your class marks from the assignments you have 68 this is your class mark right but you want your final mark so okay let's let's leave this for now your class mark is 68 let's say for you 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 really perform like uh, you don't perform good on your on your portfolio then you get a uh, 40 percent okay so let's say 40 percent is uh, 40 divided by 100 okay this is 0 0.4 okay 40 divided by 100 let's say you get 40 over 100 for your portfolio okay but i'm gonna release i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna erase that uh i want to erase everything let's erase this the whole thing yeah i'm gonna erase that and just write 0 0.4 because we know that th that's the answer okay 0 0.4 so if you got like 40 okay for assignment eight this number eight here is, is the assignment number right so this is your portfolio though so to get uh, you need to to get the, the like your mark here you need to multiply these two then uh, if you multiply 0 0.4 times 20 uh, you get eight okay so you're gonna get eight for this so I'm just gonna write eight here just like we did on the other one so this is assignment eight but the, the 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 when you multiply these two you you get this one right uh i'm not really following convention on these <laughs> calculations so yeah now you have what here you have uh, uh eight for your for your portfolio so to get your final mark you know that your class mark contributes 80 percent of your final mark and your portfolio contributes what it contributes um uh, 20 percent to what your final mark so you'll you'll do like you were doing that side so you're going to take this 68 multiply by this 80 percent which is here here 80 over 100 then that's that's like 0 0.8 and then you multiply this 8 here remember this 8 comes from the portfolio uh, your, your portfolio mark okay then you have what 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 will you have you're gonna have 68 times uh, 0 0.8 plus you see plus uh, 8 times uh, 0 0.2 so let me write that here this is your final mark your final mark is gonna be uh, 68 times uh, 0 0.8 okay plus um, eight uh, times 0 .0, 0 0.2 and then the answer for that is this is gonna be the one that you're gonna see on your statement okay then you're gonna have 68 times uh, 0 0.8 plus uh, 8 times uh, 0 0.2 then your final mark for this module will be 56 so this will be your final mark if you got 40 for your portfolio and got 68 for 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 uh, for your class mark okay so as you can see this demonstrate that it is actually important that you pass what you you do your assignment C, assignment six and your assignment assignment eight uh, assignment three I mean sorry so yeah you you can do that assignment three is like uh, the quiz is, is really simple it's really simple uh i was helping some of the students with this one and then most of them got above 90 so yeah 
Uh, so yeah, between 90 and 100, it depends on on on, on the mood. Okay, so yeah. So assignment assignment three as well is not that difficult. So you supposed to submit. Please make sure that you submit. So for those of you who are doing this module like first uh, first semester, uh, your the deadline for this has been extended. So please make sure that you you grab that opportunity with both hands and go on to to do well for this module. So okay, so this could have been better for some students. It should be better. I expect everyone to get 100% for, for my lab. I've posted videos on that one, so I don't expect any person to really struggle with that assignment. So with those assignments, not, it's, it's not even one. So yeah, so you can change the values here to, to, to calculate for your own class mark, okay? You can change this one if you are assuming that you're gonna perform very well on your portfolio, and then that, that is how you calculate your final mark for the module. Okay, I hope this will be very helpful. I hope everyone will pass. EUP is not that difficult, especially if you got 100% for all my labs. Okay, all the best, guys. Thank you for watching.